What's up, YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the X Transbots and Neptune, their version of Sea Spray. Uh, they call them Naval Defense here. Um, pretty cool animation. I don't know who's doing these drawings, but I like this a lot. Um, we'll see if they watch my review. Um, on the side, you've got a shot of the vehicle mode. On the bottom, just some warnings. And then on this side, you've got an animation of the, or a, a render of the robot mode. And then on the back, you've got the beach and his beach ball and pill. And then you've got the tech specs here, old school, kind of like the uh, old school G1 Transformers. I like that. It's pretty cool. And there's a bio. Again, I'm not going to read it, but um, that's really it for a box. Uh, it did compact, very compact. Now, this is a pretty small box. Everything was compacted in there. There's a lot of stuff with this guy. So let's take a look and see how cool it actually is. And here we have Neptune out of his packaging. Really, really nice vehicle mode here. We're going to go over all the accessories and details. There's a million different accessories. We also need to make uh, a lot of comparisons here just because we've got um, some accessories that bring in some other Masterpiece figures as well as we want to take a look at the Toy World version of Sea Spray. So let's just do a quick 360 on this guy. Um, he does look really good from pretty much every angle. You can see the back of his head peeking through there, but it's not a big deal. It's, it's colored in yellow, so it looks fine. Yeah, the cockpit here has got that translucent blue, same as this translucent blue. It's a really good color on there. Uh, and then you've got the yellow painted parts here. Um, there is some die cast on this guy. Here's the bottom. It does look like robot kind of collapsed in, but who's looking at it from the bottom? You do have wheels. It does roll pretty nicely. Um, so that's cool. Uh, the other sea sprays haven't come with wheels, so it's a nice little touch there. And um, overall, pretty nice details. Uh, you got some extra details right here. Let's take a look at that. So. You've got these little silver bits right there and there and then down here right on the side there. So that's pretty nice that they included that. They didn't need to include uh, extra detail but that's what kind of sets apart the figures these days is little details, little extra paint. Um, and I like that. I appreciate that. I also got some silver details here, here and here. Uh, these are kind of like intakes right there. Get close on that. You can see those intakes right in there. Um, so those, those little details look really good. But other than that, that's really it for vehicle. You do have this tow hitch right here, uh, and that is for bringing in Bumblebee. But let's compare this guy first. So here he is with the Toy World Sea Spray. Uh, we will get both of these guys in robot mode and take a look at that too. But just right away, you can see the difference in the maturity of these. You know, so this definitely has a more mature look. You can tell, kind of the you know this is still a good looking figure. You know, it's a little more of a toy, but you can tell sort of by the details and by the aesthetic that this is definitely a more mature, you know, realistic looking figure. Uh, but I still like the Toy World. It's just. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying not to gush on this guy, but it is pretty darn good. Um, there's the side picture. Here's the back. This one does have the piece that plugs into his back there. That was kind of cool. Some weapons there. Um, here's the bottom. Now, you had a much cleaner bottom on the Toy World version. But who's looking at the bottom, right? So that's really it for the comparisons. For me, I prefer the look of this. Toy World is still very nice, but I definitely prefer the look of this and the feel of this. It just feels very premium. So let's take a look at the accessories here. In vehicle mode, it comes with a bunch of accessories. So here is pretty much everything you get for vehicle mode. Uh, you do have these little water effects and they just plug in right there. There's two little tabs here that plug in right there. And it goes in very easily, and it's pretty secure. There you go. And there's the water effects on the side there. And that looks pretty cool. I like I like the idea there. And then here's the coup de gras features. So you've got these skis here, and they just peg right onto the bottom of Bumblebee's feet, just like that. 
Uh, there is like a spot for the wheel on the bottom there. So that's how you know which way it goes. It actually came packaged with these blue pieces the wrong direction. They're actually on top. Um, I don't know if that was an error or packaged purposely that way so that it wouldn't get damaged or something like that. But you definitely had to move it uh, based on the way it was packed. You had to move those those blue pieces. So you take this handlebar here and he basically pugs into his hands really nicely. And I do have a little surprise here that you know even I didn't know about and I'll show you that in a minute. But this everyone kind of knew you know it, this feature was going to be there. There you go he can pull Bumblebee and he's having fun. That's really cool. Uh, without the water effects, it actually rolls, so you can actually move it along, and that's pretty cool. I mean, it's just, you could do so much stuff with this. It's such a, because Bumblebee is a good figure, you know, and, and he's got a lot of posability, so because of that, you can kind of get him up on one ski, he could be doing stunts and stuff. It's just very, very good accessory to include. You know, a lot of playability and an actual, good display value. You know, you can have it displayed like this. Now another thing that they didn't advertise, or I don't remember seeing, maybe they did, is their version of uh, Cliff Jumper. So this is their Cliff Jumper, they called him Toro, and he came with this little thing here. And what you can do is take this and just kind of stick it in there, and it does hold pretty securely, it doesn't really fall out. You know? And then you can put him back in there, right on top. And now you can pull him. And that's really cool. Like he's on skis and he can be in the water. So you can use either one of these, but I just love the fact that you can do that, you know? And this is their toy too, right? This is X-Transbots as well. Uh, but the fact that that just works, I don't know if that's by accident. Maybe it is by accident. I mean, that comes right off, but it, it, it's secure enough and the size is just right that it makes me think that they designed it that way. But I'm not really sure if they did or didn't. It just, I just wanted to show that off that it actually does do that. Um, so let's get these guys out of the way. Uh, you, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode accessories. We'll get all now let's take a look at the transformation. Uh, this is a really fun transformation. I was a little worried that it was going to be kind of involved in a pain, but it's not. It, it, it's well designed. So let's let's get started. So first thing, just like every other sea spray in the world, pull down on that. Um, fold down on that. So you have it like that. So you want to see this, this crotch piece should have that angled part on the bottom basically. So he should look like he's a little bit forward, right? The waist is actually forward. So that's not how it comes packaged. comes packaged like that. You want it like that. So you're kind of making two, two folds there, okay? So once you have that situated, just leave that for a second. Now you can... Um, pull the arms out. They actually came out by themselves, but pull the arms out and that frees up this whole top part here. Uh, you also have to collapse this whole part. So this is interesting. This this is a kind of like a masterpiece moment and I've heard other people call it that. Um, you, you need to push these together, but in order to do that you kind of got to push these two flaps downwards. So once you get those two flaps folded down, you want to squeeze these two together like that. And you'll feel kind of the whole chest has collapsed. And now you can open up these pieces on the back here. And that whole top part can lay flat. Okay. So now, uh, you can actually attach these now if you want to. You don't have to wait. In the instructions they tell you to do this later, but you can do this now. So go ahead and make sure you've got this pushed all the way in. You, and you can kind of feel it. If you push this, it should, shouldn't go anymore. Uh, and then you can tab that in, tab that in, and rotate the arm, rotate the hand forward, rotate the arm, rotate the hand forward, and you should have the elbows in front if you've rotated it properly. Okay, 
pull, uh, we'll do the legs in a second. Um, put these just out to the sides. So you have a little bit of room to work. Pull the legs apart. Separate those. And I love the transformation on these legs. So this is kind of fun. So you take this panel right here, and it is die cast, and it folds down like that. And it folds down like that, and that, and that looks pretty good. And then you detach it from this little tab right there. And you go all the way out like that. Rotate. And here's some magic stuff. So there's a little panel right there. I'm going to fold that inwards. So it looks like that. And then you want to take this, open it up just a bit. Fold. This thing is going to land inside there. So just make sure you got that kind of folded flat. And then this is going to tab into there, which is a cool little transformation for the foot. And then you can bring the leg straight. Okay. Now we're going to do all the same thing on this side, so I'm not going to talk you through it. I'm just going to get it done. So bring this down. Pull me down. Pull this leg out. Rotate. Open this up a little bit. And fold this inwards. Tab this in. Oh, we forgot one little piece here. Gotta make sure you fold this downwards. And then fold it in and tab it in. And then you can fold the leg up. And we're almost there. We just have to do the chest. So you want to rotate this on. Give yourself a little room by folding this down a little bit. Rotate that around. Open this up. And you're basically going to flip the whole thing. Just be careful with this little gun. Oh, you know what? We forgot to talk about the gun. It's a little teeny tiny gun there. It's not the best. Honestly, it feels very fragile. And it feels like it might actually break. Here, let's zoom in on that. Since we forgot to cover it, I'll show it now. Here's our articulating gun. It doesn't feel great. So, but fold that in for transformation. Sorry, we forgot that in uh, vehicle mode. And you want to open this up and basically flip this entire panel inside like that and then fold it closed. And then kind of situate the waist. And pull the knees out. Forget that part. Pull the knees up. And they should actually, you'll feel them kind of click into place. If it hasn't clicked into place, you'll know. So click it, make sure it clicks into place. And it should be all the way forward. And here we have the X Transbots Neptune in robot mode. This thing looks perfect. This is exactly what I want in a sea spray. Um, we're, we'll show the Toy World one in a minute. I do feel like that one was a little bit too chunky. This guy's got a little bit of chunk, but not so much that it's irritating. Uh, let's look at, look at the G1 cartoon. And I think this is a pretty solid effort by X Trans Butts. You know, I think they nailed it. I love the metallic paint on this guy. You know, Zeta did reissue the Toy World one in metallic paint. I never got the Fans Toys one. I'm glad I didn't because I would have been unhappy when this came out. But uh, they're, they're issuing a version 2.0. We'll take a look at that whenever it comes out. Who knows when that'll be. But right now, this is the best Masterpiece Sea Spray on the market. And the metallic paint is amazing. Let's take a quick 360 around. Very nice side profile. No backpack, no chunk no kibble anywhere really at all just just a beautiful transformation um here's the bottom of the feet nice and flat you know it just looks it looks so good in robot mode and i'm really impressed i'm really impressed with what they were able to do here um no other details really uh to, to show uh there are the same details you had from the robot mode. Oop, I forgot one thing. You gotta move the arms forward for transformation. Sorry about that. You gotta move the arms forward, otherwise he's it looks like he's arms a little too far back. But that actually is another joint there, so we'll talk about that when we get to articulation. Here he is with the Masterpiece Bumblebee, and 
that looks really good. I, it's a good scale. It's a little bit bigger, but I feel like that's kind of appropriate. There he is with Masterpiece Smokescreen. I think that's also a really good scale. I feel like he should be shor shorter than the standard Carbots, but not so small like Masterpiece Bumblebee. So for me, this is the perfect size. Here he is with the Toy World version of Sea Spray. Oh, I forgot what they called him. And they're pretty much the same height, but width, definitely not. So you can see a lot more bulk on the Toy World version. Just the feet, and it was really the magic that x Transbot did with the feet that got it to be so much smaller. Um, they folded away this outer edge inside, and then the back was folded inwards as well. So they, they lost a lot of mass on the feet and that's what allows it to be, you know, look more slender. They also have, you know, just better uh, engineering. If you look at the hands here, you just got the solid, you know, non-moving hand. You know, it, it just feels like more of a toy and this feels more like a masterpiece. Um, and, and that's where I think x Transbots has excelled. They've, they've really started making some great looking figures that are competing with the likes of Vance Toys and Takara. You know, they, re they really are. Um, here's the back. Both are pretty clean on the back, although you see the Toy World one has uh, light piping. The x Transbots does not have light piping. It's got the metallic paint on the face. Speaking of the face, let's get in close here on the faces. We'll try to get both faces in and just forewarning I did paint the face on the toy world so this face mask was white I painted it yellow just to be a little bit more toy ac uh, G1 accurate but to me the clear winner is the x Transbot. just the look overall the face sculpt uh, so that's really it for the comparison to toy world now they do have different Articulation. So why don't we go over his articulation now and can leave this guy in the back here. Uh, so you do have the head on a rotating swivel, not a ball joint. And it does go all the way around. It is painted all the way around. Uh, the Toy World one is not. That one's plastic. The eyes were painted, but the rest is not. On this one, it is actually painted. And the eyes and even the, the outside of the head is painted. Uh, you do have a nice butterfly joint here on the arm. It goes all the way up to there and rotates all the way around. Double jointed elbow. This guy also had a double jointed elbow, but the sculpt was completely broken when you did it and he looked like he had no elbow whatsoever. This guy, he's got an elbow down there, so that's a, that's a good move by x Transbots putting that joint there to make it look complete. Uh, you do have a rotation at the bicep. You have a single pinned hand for all, all four fingers. Uh, no movement on the thumb. You do have a rotation at the waist, a huge ab crunch just like all of their figures have had. Plenty of ab crunch there. And, and they've been doing a great job with that. I mean, every single figure has had ab crunch and, and pivot. You do have the tire rotation. It's a uh, friction joint there, all the way up, all the way down. No ratchets here, by the way. It's pretty light, it's a pretty small figure, so it doesn't need a lot of ratchets, but it's very tight in there, which is what I want. I want it to be tight. So continue on. You do have a bend at the knee. It's a little over 90 degrees, so you get, you know, past 90 degrees there. And it's nice and tight. All the joints are nice and tight. They're, none of them are ratchet, but they're they're plenty pretty stiff. Uh, you do get the ankle tilt and ankle pivot both. So you can get him to plenty of poses. He goes all the way out to there. I mean you got an extreme ankle pivot there. So really everything you would want for articulation. I mean you can get this guy into some amazing poses just by accident. <laughs> and, and Toy World, you know, because his legs are so short and stubby he definitely was a lot harder to pose. You could get him into some good poses. He does have a knee, but um, it just uh, it, it doesn't compare, you know, honestly. Um, I'm probably going to be selling this guy. But, yeah, amazing, amazing articulation on this. 
Uh, so we do have a ton of accessories to go through here, so we will uh, get those in one by one. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them just because some of them are just very simple. So let's get going. So there he is with his pail and shovel. They're actually really good quality pail and shovel. It does articulate, the, the, the pail actually articulates at the handle there. Um, I don't know, they must have spent at least a dollar making this shovel and pail. I will never use the shovel and pail, but you get it if you want. With this beach ball, it's actually painted really nicely. And again, another accessory I'm not going to be using, but it's really cool they're including this. You know, it's for the price that this sold, I think I bought this for 56 from Baba Bobo. By the way, his link will be in the description below if you want to buy it from him as well. And, you know, for that price, the number of accessories you're getting, it's really awesome. Um, but yeah, this is just a simple plastic uh, ball, nothing really uh, to write home about, but it's good enough. Here he is with his gun. It looks very similar to another gun we've seen recently. Uh, well, maybe not recently, but there is a Bumblebee's gun, and these look almost the same. His is a little bit bigger, but pretty much the same. It's got that same metallic blue paint on it, so it looks beautiful. And that's nice. I like that they included that. This is the accessory I'll be using. This is the one I was looking for. Uh, by the way, if you didn't remember, here's the accessory you got with the Toy World one. It was this little weird gun that it did fit in his hand, but it was just dumb looking. That's, that's what it looked like. It was okay, but this is what I want. I want the real blaster. But there he is with his blaster, and it's very similar to the other blasters we've gotten. The accessory is the alternate head sculpt, and that looks marvelous. It's got that metallic blue paint on it. By the way, it's the same metallic blue on the eyes here, except it's the whole face, the whole eyes painted versus just the eyes inside the gray. I can't remember which one is more cartoon accurate, but I think it's this one. I think this is the one that looks more like a cartoon. But still, this option looks awesome. You didn't get an alternate face with the the Toy World one. And even if you did, it probably still wouldn't look right. This one looks just amazing. So this is another one I might actually use. It, it does actually kind of remind me of Beachcomber. And here he is with another alternate face mask. So this is actually the same as the original face, except it's replaced the silver eyes, or the silver outline of the eyes with red. And it, it keeps the same blue metallic and there he is up close. I don't know what the reference is here. I'm not sure where this face is from. Uh, but it looks good. It looks fine. It's painted. It's nice. It's just, it's not for me. I'm not sure really where this comes from. But it's nice that they include all these options. Now just for completeness, I want to show you how you do remove it. You turn the head around like this. There's a little panel right here. You just kind of pick it off of the head here. And it comes off. It's got two little pegs that keep hold it on. Right there. And then there's a screw there, and you remove that screw, and then the whole front of the face pops off, and you can either replace those eyes, or you can put on the alternate face mask. I do like this, but um, that's really it for the alternate heads and face. So, final thoughts-wise, I think this is a really solid release from x Transbots. They nailed everything, at least for me. They nailed everything, uh, you know, the robot mode, the vehicle mode, the accessories, the playability interaction with the other Masterpiece figures, just everything is exactly what I want from a Sea Spray. Unfortunately, this guy is going to have to go. He's just, he's, he's, the mold has aged and he has not aged well. And, um, you know, there's some limitations with this guy too. You actually can't rotate the arm. Um, this one you can actually rotate around like that. So he's just got, he's just way more mature and, and, professional. So I definitely recommend this for those that are looking for a Masterpiece Sea Spray. This is the one to have right now. This is definitely going to beat out the Toy World or x -Trans, uh, sorry, Fans Toys or even the Zeta, which was the same as the Toy World. None of those are going to meet up to the standard that this is built and the quality and the engineering and the accessories, everything it comes with. It's just a complete and fun Transformer. Here's all the accessories it comes with. I just want to show you it all at once. Um, so I highly recommend it. 
if you're looking for a good price on this, you don't care about how long it takes, you could buy this from Baba Bobo. The link is down below. And it does take a little while to get here from China, but as far as the price, he's got the best price out there for, for everything. So thanks for watching. We are going to be reviewing the KFC Crash Hog. I know everyone had voted on that in my online vote. And then this guy came in, so I figured this was more important than that right now. But I will be doing that KFC Crash Hog review soon. Um, and just a spoiler alert, it's also a nice figure. It's fun. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.